All right, Shalom, well, a quick little lesson through the Spirit. GMS on the go, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere actions. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. This lesson basically, um, I'm going to bring out some scriptures on how faith delivered people, delivered Israelites in the Bible. You know? Got them saved, got them delivered. Just having faith of a mustard seed. We can move mountains, Israel. We got to trust and believe. And you have Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? Matter of fact, before I even get that, let's get the definition of faith according to the Bible. And I'm going to come right back. Because the majority of our people, they, put, they got faith in nonsense. They ain't got faith in the words of the Bible. They got faith in their house, their cars, their job, their women, all this nonsense, their careers, their plaques on the wall. But they ain't got faith in the Bible, so let's get it. Let's get what faith is. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance, because that's the um, key word, that's the topic for the day, right? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yeah, we believe in a power that we haven't seen in over 2,000 years. But hey, you don't see the air, but ain't it there? Don't you feel it? Okay? Just like you have by Shemel Shai. We don't see them, but you can feel them, man. All around. Faith is to believe in something that you don't see. And without having faith, you can't please your have by Shemel Shai. I want to get that. Verse 6. But without faith, believing in something that you don't see, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And then you got many scriptures on how faith. You got Noah, you got Abraham, you know, many of our forefathers, Jacob, how they put their trust in Yahweh, but Shema Shah was delivered. Let, let's read some of them. Let's read some of them. Let's, um, let's go down. Let's go to Noah. Seven, by faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High, Yahweh. Of things not seen as yet. He believed in something that he didn't see. He just, the only thing he had to do was just hear about it, right? Move with fear. Prepared an ark. He moved with fear. Prepared an ark to the saving of his house. By the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness. Which is by faith. See, faith got Noah delivered, right? Eight. By faith, Abraham. When he was called to go out into a place which... He should either receive inheritance, obey, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. Why? Why? Because he put his trust, he put his faith, and you have but Shemel Shai that the God of the Bible is going to lead him the right way. Look, by faith he sojourned in, into the land of the promise, a promise, and as, as in a strange country, dwelling in the tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. And just going, you know what I'm saying, through, through some scriptures on faith, you know, like um, Isaac, you know what I'm saying, like um, Abraham, you know what I'm saying, was going to um, sacrifice his son through faith, believing in Yahweh, by Shema Joseph, Moses, so forth and so on, man. Basically, putting your faith in Yahweh, by Shema moves mountains, man. So let's get this, same Matthew chapter 6, verse 30. Many accounts on faith. Healing our people, delivering our people. St. Matthew chapter 6, verse 30. Wherefore, if Yahweh so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye little faith? The scriptures say, look, take no thought of what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, where you're going to stay. The God of the Bible already got that sign sealed and delivered, man. It's nothing. It's nothing for the God of the Bible to give you what you need, man. At the time of need, you know? Let's see. St. Matthew 9 and 2. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on the bed. And Yahweh Shai, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer. Thy sins 
be forgiven that he's seen that man faith and deliver him. Faith, man. Faith without works, man. His faith delivered him. You know, it's good to say your faith without works is dead. You got faith in your heart, but you that you're going to bring forth your works. You know? Let's see. Look, going now, verse nine, 22, same chapter. Same Matthew chapter 9, verse 22. But Yahweh shall turn about. And when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith have made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour, man. That's that woman that wanted to just touch. Look, see, it's all about the faith in Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That woman knew if she just touched his garment, she would be made whole. She would be healed. That's faith right there, man. You know? Let's see. Some more. Let me get a couple more accounts. Let's see. Let's see. Bear with me. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I read this same Matthew. You, you, uh, you, the majority of you Israelites wondering why things ain't happening. Because you ain't got faith. Just read this. St. Matthew 17 and 20. And Yahweh shall say unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have seen things ain't happening, For the majority of you Israelites, Because you don't believe in Yahweh, But Shem Yahweh Shai. If you have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, Which is the smallest seed out there, Ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, And it shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible unto you, man. And look, the scripture tell you, it's nothing impossible for you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? Nothing. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me just read a couple more. I was just sitting here thinking I'm at work. So I really ain't got too much long. Just want to bring out a couple of scriptures on faith. You know. Yeah, but you know, it's all about that faith in the Lord, man. Okay. I read that. You see how many scriptures it is? You know. So how many scriptures it is just on faith alone? Just having faith, what it what it does for us Hebrew Israelites. You know. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, the scripture. The scripture tells us the just shall live by faith. A couple more scriptures, and I'm gonna wrap it up. Like I said before, I'm at work, so I really can't make this lesson too long. Let me see. James 2 and 18, yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. You got a whole lot of Israelites saying they believe in your high, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Where they at? Well, look, look, where you at? You know, say you got faith in your high, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Look, then what, where you at? You know, where are you at? You know, Galatians 2 and 16, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith of Yahweh Shai. See, we got to believe in the Lord, you know, but at, at the same time, we just read faith without works is dead. So you show Yahweh by Shai that you got faith in him by doing the works. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Even as we have believed in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that we might be justified by the faith of Yahweh Shai and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Okay, let's see. Like I said before, just a, just a lesson. I was just sitting here thinking on how faith stretched, truly healed a lot of the men of the Lord that believed. 
their faith made them whole, man. It's a beautiful thing. They say Romans chapter 1, verse 17. For therein is the righteousness of Yahweh revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. You know. So, so we don't have to see something to believe in it, man. You know. We ain't got to see something to believe in it. It's happening, man. I read that Hebrews 11 already. So, yeah, this just, is just basically some man. Through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashemel Shah, that I want to throw out there. Through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashemel Shah, Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel, is edified. Just some on faith. You know, you read different accounts in the scriptures on how people just believe in Lord Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashemel Yahweh Shah. It was healed, man. Just their faith. Their faith had made them whole. These a little, oh yeah, I want to I wanna close it out with this. Close it out with that Romans. Because the things that are written the four times was written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures, what? Might have hope. That's a bad scripture. I want to end it off on that. Romans 15. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written a fourth time were written for our learning. So there are different accounts that I read about people being healed because of their faith. All that was written for our learning, man. If you got the faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains, man. For whatsoever things were written a fourth time were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope, man. Okay, so like I said before, just a quick lesson on faith, man. You know, the different accounts of having faith and what it can do for you. Lord willing, the elect was edified. Shalom.